Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another pick a card reading. This reading is going to focus on what we need to nourish and then how we can do that. So um, hopefully everybody is doing all right, doing well. Um, this is kind of just a little self-care check-in, something to kind of uh, get our minds into thinking internally. All right, so if you've not been to a pick a card reading before, welcome. All I ask you to do is to get into a calm, centered space and really take a couple deep breaths and let your intuition guide you to the choice of pile or crystal that really feels like you're drawn to. Um, that way the message will resonate with you a lot better. Um, and this is a general reading, so keep in mind there are multiple people watching, so there could be multiple or different messages um, for others as well. So with that being said, our piles today are group number one with this uh, crystal quartz, group number two with the rose quartz, or excuse me, the desert rose crystal, and then the group number three with the smoky quartz crystal. All of the timestamps for each group will be down in the description box below, as well as in the pinned comments by me. So if you need to take a moment and pause the video to meditate on the group or the piles, go ahead and do that now. And if not, I will see you in your particular group. Hello, my group number ones, those of you who chose the crystal quartz, let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards first. They're gonna tell us what needs to be nourished and how. And then we have some Oracle deck uh, cards for um, advice or confirmation. Alrighty. So what needs to be nourished is the Six of Cups. All right, I'm gonna lay them out and then we're gonna go over it. And then how is the Ace of Wands and the Hermit. All right, so what needs to be nourished? The Six of Cups. So this is talking about your inner child. So this is really going back and having, spending some time to connect with your inner child. So what used to light you up? What um, really gave you that uh, inspiration? What really um, gave you the, the, let you dive deep into your imagination? Um, you know, was it crafting? Was it coloring books? Was it spending out time, spending time outdoors? Was it, you know, playing with Legos? Was it, you know, whatever the case may be, it's talking about going back and connecting with your inner child right now. Um, so letting the stress kind of slip away for a little bit and really getting back into that imaginative, imaginative <laughs> mode. All right. So connecting with that. And how do we do that? Well, we have the Ace of Wands here, which is exactly what it says. It is the inspiration card. It is that spark. It is that literal spark that lights you up. You get that aha moment, those ideas that come through, that passion, that drive. Um, these are opportunities for you to take and run with. So again, movement. Anything that drives you, that passion, that yearning to just create or to spend time in your imagination, reading, writing, you know, uh, cooking, making a meal, um, baking, anything that allows you to connect with the things that uh, made you feel good as a child, um, that childlike sense of wonder is what I'm getting. Um, I know a lot of the times we lose that as we age, as we get older, um, because we're worrying about everyday problems that, you know, we've got to work, we've got to come home and, and cook a decent meal or take care of the kids, that sort of a thing. But right now you can use this time that we have. I know a lot of us are at home. Um, some of us have a family, have kids. Um, and while we spend time with family or our kids, we can do activities with them that really allow us to tap into our inner children or inner child. So, you know, playing with Legos with your kids or, um, you know, playing tea party or whatever the, the case may be with your children or reading them a story that you loved as a child. You know, um, I don't know why, but the secret garden popped into my head. So, um, stories like that, or, um, you know, curious George or whatever that take you back uh, to when you were a child and enjoyed them as a child or watching Disney movies or 
Um, you know, uh, whatever the movies that you were brought up with as a child, watching those with your, your kids, you can really connect with your inner child that way. Um, so anything that lights you up, anything that gives you inspiration, movement, going to the park with your kids or going to the park with your dogs if you don't have kids, um, anything that sparks, that, um, that lights you up, that gets you back into that, okay, I remember doing that. I remember loving this really just letting your imagination soar. And then we have the hermit here, which is all about solitude. It's about l like listening and looking inward. What makes you feel whole inside? You know, listening to yourself. Is it meditation? Is it taking five minutes and being alone in um, your room? Is it taking a bath? How do you get to know you? How does that work for you? Really taking the time out and listening to yourself, finding that inner guidance, taking a time out, inspiration, time out, introspection, and really listening to yourself, really listening to what you want. Not anything about anybody else, just about you, listening to your heart, your wants, your needs, and then acting on them, right? So really taking the time out, literally being a hermit. I know a lot of us are right now, so this could also be about you having the time right now since we are all stuck inside, <laughs> having the time out right now to take a time out to work on this, to enjoy, to explore, to really get your hands dirty in the best way possible. Okay, so this is what we're nourishing. We're nourishing our inner child, our imagination, whatever lights us up. We're getting back to the fun. We're getting back to the creativity and the imagination. How? With anything that sparks inspiration, with movement, with um, tapping into it. And by taking the time out to do that, taking the time out to really listen to ourselves, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your legendary ladies. And I just moved the camera stand, sorry. And we have Erin <laughs> Again, I'm horrible, I'm horrible with pronouncing these and there's no disrespect, it's just, can't pronounce them. So this is fertility. So the way I look at it is like um, having a spark or the birth of something new, the like creation, right? Having the fertility, like creating something. All right, let's see. What is her name? Let's see what she has to say here. The time is right for you to bring forth something new, <laughs> whether it is into the physical, spiritual, or subconscious world. Goddess of fertility and fate, Arian Hod is urging you on. Okay, there we go. And then we have connection to nature, Gaia. So like I said, go out for a walk, go spend time in your backyard if you have one. If you have an apartment and a balcony, go spend time breathing in the air out of the balcony. Open your windows up, do a little gardening, spend time with nature. Then we have Saraswati, enlightenment, okay? Let's take a look at what she has to say here. And some of these can be um, specific messages to specific people as well. So if it's not connecting, it might be meant for somebody else. So goddess of knowledge and the arts, Saraswati, is opening your third eye to all things that require wisdom and study. Focus on these things and you'll be rewarded with enlightenment. And that's kind of where this hermit card comes in, right? It's about inner wisdom, inner knowledge, inner knowing. All right. And your last one is Mat Justice. Okay, let's read about that real fast. Mott rules over all things related to truth and justice, so you'll be gaining fair treatment for whatever you're seeking. So I feel like this is telling you to treat yourself fairly, to not be so hard on yourself, and don't beat yourself up, um, to really be kind to yourself, right? To treat yourself fair and just. All righty. And then you have your self-care cards here. We have movement. All right. So go outside, do a little dancing, do a little um, exercise, any kind of movement, help shake things loose, help really um, get you inspired and get you going, shake up the brain a little bit, right? 
And then we have alone time. Okay, well that's fitting. Spend some time alone. Let yourself just um, kind of space out a little bit and really get to know yourself. Get to know yourself again. And then we have write a gratitude list. So this is really nice too when you're trying to get the juices flowing a little bit and figure out where you wanna go, what you wanna do. Writing a gratitude list for things that you are grateful for really helps inspire you um, in different ways that you never really thought possible. So, you know, sometimes we can feel a little down. Sometimes we can, um, you know, feel like we need to be keeping up with the Joneses or that we're not good enough or that sort of a thing. And then we write a gratitude list and we're like, okay, well, I'm really good at this. I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for, you know, having a roof over my head. It really starts to get your, your mind thinking in a different way. And you start feeling better about everything about your situation. So there's that gratitude list. And then we have the mudra for nourishment, Mira Mudra. So if you need to pause the video to figure out how to do the hand thing, go ahead. And then the back says, this assists inner nourishment, breath, and serenity. And the benefits are promotes abdominal breathing, provides relief for asthma, supports reductive eliminary, eliminatory and urinary systems, directs breath to sacrum, lower back, and pelvis. All right, and if you need to um, pause for the instructions, you can do so as well. All right, so looking at this, it really feels like maybe a lot of you guys need to take some time out with um, going on walks, going, you know, sitting in your backyard, sitting underneath your favorite tree at the park, whatever it is to get your inspiration going. Take some time out for yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. You know, making a gratitude list and this justice card kind of feels fitting together here. Spend some time alone and really connect with your inner child. I think it'll help you in a lot of ways um, and then, you know, help you get through this time too. Um, hopefully everybody is doing well. Hopefully this makes sense. And um, uh, if it did, let me know what group you chose down in the comment section below. I know this is kind of a little bit of a different video, but I just felt drawn to um, kind of do a little bit of a self-care check-in and see how we are doing, where we're at, and maybe what we kind of can focus on to help us through what's going on right now. So hopefully it did help. Hopefully it sh shone some light on some things for you and gave you some inspiration. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, bye guys. Hello, my group number twos, those of you who chose the Desert Rose Crystal, let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to nourish and how. So we do have some Oracle cards for you that we'll get into at the end after talking about your tarot. There'll be some advice or confirmation for you. So the first card is going to be what we need to nourish and we have death and this is actually a beautiful death card. Okay. If it'll focus. <laughs> All right. We have a death and then how to nourish it. We have a uh, judgment in this deck. It's called awakening. It's a beautiful card. And then queen of cups or queen of emotions in this deck. All right, so let's talk about it. Um, it's kind of weird when we say nourish death, but this is all about transformations and transitions and changes. And many, 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 many people do not handle change well. And right now at this particular time, as of filming this, we are all going through it. We are all dealing with some form of transformation or change or transition that we are not comfortable with and that it can be difficult, right? Um, so whether you're watching it when I film it or and upload it or years later, changes change and it's always going to be somewhat uncomfortable, right? So we need to nourish it in the sense of we need to accept it and we need to accept that things end and things can begin after. Sometimes it's hard to let things go and let the endings happen and go through that change. But if we don't, we'll never get to the more beautiful beginning. We'll never get to that 
beautiful, fresh start that could um, really change our whole perspective or change our life. You know, sometimes that one thing that we wanted to happen and it didn't happen is for the best. Hopefully that makes sense. So this is about letting go and really nourishing the fact that things change and nourish the changing and accept it. I think a lot of it is just acceptance. And unfortunately it's hard and it's uncomfortable and it's always you know, scary when we don't know what's going to happen after things do end, after things change, we don't know what's going to happen because we've not been there before. And you know, um, we don't know what to expect or we don't know where we're going or how to get there, or you know, the worries add up and they keep going on forever. But this is something that we all need to accept. Everything changes. It is the circle of life. When one thing ends, another begins, or when one thing begins, another ends. It is that constant revolving door, right? So how to accept it, how to nourish it and really you know, be okay with transformations and changes and endings. Well, we have the judgment card here, which is a beautiful card. This is literally what the, the title says on the card. It's awakening, awakening ourselves to those changes, accepting it, putting it in the forefront of our mind. Well, this is, this is what's going on. This is happening. This is the transition. Well, how are we going to get through it? How are we going to get out to the, to the other side. It's by really opening our eyes to it, right? Awakening ourselves to it. Accepting. Accepting and having that clarity is so, it's like, I don't even know how to describe it because it's just the best thing for us. It's having that clarity when you finally realize that, okay, there's nothing to be afraid of or there's nothing to um, worry about because we can't control anything, right? It's just so nice to have that clarity, to be accepting of it, to be accepting of our situation and know that, all right, we're gonna walk through it confidently. Um, this isn't me uh, belittling anything or you know trying to make a um, situation or a problem seem like it can be fixed with sunshine and rainbows. This is literally accepting it is part of the change, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that doesn't sound too, you know, harsh or whatever, because it's not what I mean. It's just literally opening your, your eyes and saying that I can do this helps tremendously, right? Having that clarity, accepting, forgiving yourself for being scared. Forgiveness is also a huge part of this card. Forgiving yourself for being scared, for being, um, you know, maybe having weird moon changes, um, whatever the case may be, forgiving yourself because it's, we're all going through some form of transition, some form of change. It's scary whenever that happens, right? So forgiving yourself for being scared too, because sometimes it's like, God, why was I so hung up on this? Why was I so afraid? You know, forgiving yourself for having, like, it's okay. And we're going to get to this for having emotions, for having feelings. Okay. Rising above your situation, rising above your fears, rising above, you know, uh, the, the horrible thoughts that go through your head sometimes. All right. And then we have the queen of cups. She's a very intuitive queen. She's very much in touch with her intuition and her emotions. She is love. She is emotional, um, emotional intelligence. So she's like all about her emotions. She listens and lives and breathes her emotions. That's why she's called the queen of emotions, right? Queen of cups. So how to accept transitions, how to accept death and how to accept changes by feeling, by being okay to feel, by letting yourself feel, letting yourself go through all of those emotions, all of those changes, the, the scary thing, the scary feelings, the anger feelings, the, um, uh, the crying, the, the scared feelings, all of those 
are okay. Allowing yourself to feel, allowing yourself to go through that list of crazy that you think that it is, the feelings, it's okay. Accepting, all right? Listening to your emotions, really feeling it. This is also a card that talks about self-love and self-acceptance. So again, giving yourself some self-care time, giving yourself some love, um, letting yourself feel and accepting it, all right? Hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully um, it's not coming across, you know, super sharp um, because that's not how I mean it. Um, I'm just see, I'm just saying it like it is what I see. Um, so the death card really isn't um, literal in this sense. So hopefully you guys aren't too scared about it. Nobody's dying. No, like, especially in this climate that we're in right now, this is, I just want to reiterate that this is about transitions and this is about change and um, letting go and acceptance and that sort of a thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at your legendary ladies. All right, we have, not even going to try to pronounce that because I'm going to ruin it. Um, this is a fresh start, fitting, very fitting, fresh start. Then we have a reinvention. So let's go ahead and read about reinvention here. Oh, just had her, there we go. Moon goddess of creativity, it shall, is overseeing your reinvention right now, even if you don't see it. If you're feeling called to make a transition, then you have her blessing. It's a fortuitous time to make a change. All right, so transitions, change, reinvention. Uh, queen of cuts, she's also the queen of creativity as well. She, or, well, she's not the queen of creativity, but this is creativity as well. So if you're going through kind of a, um, creative transition as well, such as jobs or hobbies. Just had to say it. <laughs> then we have a uh, transformation. Let's go ahead and read her. You've been through a lot in your life lately and your heart may feel heavy. Let Esten, uh, uh, let her goddess of the sky and earth help lift your weary spirit and renew it. Transformation is her speciality. It's time to take the lesson, release it, and say thank you next to this phrase or to this phase of your life. No disrespect about the names. I just cannot pronounce them the way that they should be. I apologize. And then we have Inanna Desire. All right, let's read a little bit about her. And this is Queen of Heaven, Inanna, embraces all those who seek her care. Accept her wisdom and gifts to find what your heart truly longs for. Now is the time to give in to your desires. Accept what's truly yours and release what isn't. All right. So I think that is literally all that I need to say about all of that. I feel like that's very fitting. All right. We're releasing things. We're having a fresh start. We're accepting of it. All right, fresh starts. And self-care time, we have spend time with friends. All right, so obviously um, if we're uh, sheltering in place right now, uh, spending time with friends uh, virtually or, you know, not, we're, self, we're, we're six feet apart, right? <laughs> or social distancing, that's what it is. And then we have deep breathing and rest. Okay, so hopefully all of those things will take um, some self-care time for you guys, help you with that. And then we have the mudra calming. So if you need to pause this to um, remember the hand position, go ahead and do that. So adhi mudra. And then this is um, assists in stillness, support, and balance. And the benefits reduces anxiety, supports muscular skeletal system, and cultivates mental and physical restoration. All right. So this is um, caution lowers blood pressure. All right. The focus is I rest in the calm of uh, inner balance and support. So hopefully that is something that can help you guys in this um, nourishment time. So we're nourishing 
transitions. We're nourishing change. I know that's a weird thing and a weird concept, but believe me, it's um, worth it. Um, the, the quicker we get to acceptance, the easier the transition will be. Um, hopefully this makes sense. And I know I've said that like probably a million times already, but hopefully this makes sense. And um, hopefully this helps. I know these times are insane right now and things are up in the air and we never really know what's going to happen when we come out on the other side or when just our day to day. So um, this makes sense if you know we're having a hard time accepting transitions right now. How to nourish it right here is fantastic, all right? Hopefully this helped you. If it did, let me know down in the comments what group you chose. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. And thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And hopefully everyone is doing well. Um, and you know, hopefully this helped and shed some light on some things maybe we didn't think about. So thank you again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my group number threes, those of you who chose the Smoky Quartz, we're gonna take a look at your Muse Tarot first of uh, what we need to nourish and how, and then we have the Oracle cards for confirmation or advice. Okay, so what we need to nourish, we have the Page of Cups or Page of Emotions here, and then how, we have the Magician, and the King of Pentacles or Muse of Materials in this deck. All right, so the Page of Cups, this is an interesting energy here because I feel like it could be a couple of things. So the first thing, the majority that I see is this heart here, being very heart driven, listening to your heart, okay? I feel like that's something that a lot of us don't really do Currently, especially as we get older, um, we're not tapped into our feelings. We're not tapped into how things make us feel. We just kind of go, uh, go with the motions. We go with the flow, right? These fish here, we kind of just go with the flow, whatever we can get through our day faster, right? So maybe we need to nourish feelings, nourish our heart, what really lights us up. How do we feel? following our heart, right? Maybe some of us are in a career that we don't like or a job that doesn't make us feel whole. And you know, we would rather be doing something in the creative field. Maybe this is the time where we need to nourish that. Maybe we need to explore it, all right? And again, this could also be nourishing our hobbies, nourishing our creative side, our imaginative side, our childlike wonder really finding that um, magic in the ordinary. So like turning our imaginations on and like really seeing the, the wonder that is our everyday and using that to our advantage, right? So again, starting a hobby or continuing that hobby that we used to love when we had the time or when we were younger, following that and continuing to do that or making that blossom into something new something different, right? But a lot of this is like listening to your heart, following your heart, being heart driven. That's, I mean, I'm just zoomed into that heart. All right, so nourishing those feelings. This is the page of emotions for a reason. The cup suit is very much about emotions and tapping into them and how we feel and what makes us feel this way. And you know, you get the picture that this could also be about tapping into your feelings, right? Really listening, diving deep into why we feel certain ways. That childlike sense of, you know, having your feelings be so confusing and not understanding that sort of a, why we're crying over this or why we're so happy over this. Figuring them out again, right? Okay, so how do we do that? Well, this is one of the one of the hows, and that is the magician card. So this is the manifesting card because you have all the skills, you have all the talents, and you have all the tools you need to create whatever world you want. That that's basically the be all end all of this card. You have the tools and the talent necessary to create whatever you want. 
So whether you take this literal, where you have all of the you know supplies that you need at the at your current situation to create whatever you want, or you think of it as figuratively as you have the skills and the talent and the tools as far as the know-how to do or create whatever you want or to listen to your heart or to follow your heart you have the skill set and the knowledge and the talent and the tools to do so all right and is using them it's really putting them to work and using them because a lot of the times too if we're thinking figuratively and we're listening to our heart if we don't have if we don't really take advantage of the tools we're never going to go anywhere hopefully this is making sense because it's making sense in my head i've got a few things bouncing around and it's kind of hard to um focus at the moment with the different i feel like there's like multiple people and multiple messages coming through with what this means for you and that's why i'm having kind of like a brain issue uh, <laughs> But yeah, listening to your heart and creativity and imagination. Yeah, a lot of you guys are, have just been going with the flow, have just been like dealing, like putting up a um, front, right? And now it's time to really take control back and take back, you know, how do you feel? Like take control of your emotions, like, how do you feel? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Listening to your heart. And also it's time to take your imagination back. Like when was the last time you read a book? When was the last time you let yourself escape into a fantasy book or like um, a, a mystery novel or really had that time to do so, right? Now's the time. You have the skills, you have the know-how, you have the talent. And then with the King of Pentacles here, this is a card that talks about working your way up to the abundance and prosperity. Like you've, you have the know-how, you have the skill set, and you did it. You, you are able to have that security. So I feel like this is kind of one of those things where like you guys are afraid of jumping off the, the deep end and really going for it. And this is kind of the, okay, you know, the universe has your back. Like you have, you have security to fall back on. You have the money. Like now's the time. Now's the time if you wanted to start a hobby, if you really wanted to follow your heart, now's the time because you already have, like you put enough money away. You have that money available for you to fall back on. Whatever that case may be with finances, you have that available to you. You're able to do that financially. And you have this support because I feel like you have um, people behind you that are like, yeah, we know you should have done this a long time ago. You should have, you know, followed your dream a long time ago. You should have listened to your heart a long time ago. You should go and do it. You have the time. You have the opportunity to do so now. I feel like that's basically what this is saying here for real. Because, yeah, support is there finances is, is there you have your health that's there and you are also the type of personality too where you're very very generous so this is a reminder that like you can take what you've learned and help other people as well you can give to other people as well you can bring the materials you have in your possession and use them to create whatever you want in your life. That's basically what this is saying. At least to me, that's what I'm reading it as. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is take a look at your legendary ladies and their meanings here. We have Newt Resurrection. Okay, let me read a little bit about her real fast. And my dog is chewing on a bone. So if you hear that, I'm so sorry. So you have the power to reinvent yourself at any moment. Bring yourself up from what you may feel like the bottom. You can overcome the challenges that have been set before you. Goddess, in the, uh, goddess of the sky and rebirth, Nut, Newt Nut, is holding your hand. Okay. And then we have Psyche, Persistence. And she says, 
goddess of the soul psyche is here to lift you back so that or lift you back up so that you may persist remember that the ability to stick to something will be your greatest advantage all right and then we have yamoha for release and she says surrender your weary thoughts to yamoha and she will carry them away for you connect with the loving spirit she is washing over you right now and feel nurtured when you release what isn't working for you okay and we have Sekhmet, hopefully I'm saying that right. Again, no disrespect to anybody. If I can't pronounce it, it's just I can't. <laughs> can't pronounce it right. So healing. So a lot of you guys are going through some healing right now too. Um, she says, Lioness, goddess of destruction and healing, Sekhmet shows you the power of breaking things down in order to rebuild them better. It's time to do just that. She'll send you messages in your dreams about what will help you transform during uh, your next evolution. So again, um, intuition, maybe you're seeing things in your dreams that you need to put into reality. And then we have creation. So creativity as well. New, uh, okay, I'm trying, I'm trying guys. Nuwa. Goddess of creation, Nuwa, is signaling to use the raw material of your life ha, 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 to create something meaningful, perhaps to find your very purpose. Okay, so I feel like that summed up everything I was trying to say in here, right? Hopefully that made sense. It summed it up because, yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. All right, and then we do have some self care cards for you. We have music, listening to music, being around music, putting on your favorite song, help care and nourish your soul. And then we have make a meal. I know a lot of the times making a meal can seem daunting or you don't have the energy to do so, but to make a meal and then be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor and then just to have that good home cooked meal instead of like, a frozen food or uh, takeout, like it's just so satisfying for the soul. Like it's just, there's nothing like it, right? And then your last self-care card is read. Oh my gosh, I was just talking about that. So immerse yourself into a different world, into the fantasy, whatever genre you enjoy, it'll help you, it'll help spark your creativity, help spark your imagination. And then your last card here is your mudra card. And I find that very fitting. It is your heart chakra, talking about your heart chakra. And this is to get unstuck, your heart center. And this rules your heart, lungs, respiratory system, and thymus. And the element is air and the qualities is love, compassion, empathy, and forgiveness. Okay, so we need to focus on your heart chakra here. Follow your heart. I feel like that is just too crazy, <laughs> too crazy. So following your heart, nourish that. Nourish your creativity, nourish your imagination, and know that you have the skills, the talent, and the materials to do so, okay? Hopefully this made sense. Hopefully this helped. This is a different kind of video. This is a different kind of pick a card. I feel like this kind of gives us a different perspective, a different thing to look on at this moment in time. So again, hopefully it helped. And if it did, let me know what group you chose down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll never miss a video upload from me. And hopefully you guys are healthy, happy, doing just well and or just great, I should say, not just well, but well is the sense of being, right? Hopefully everything is all right. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.